Greetings, fellow prospectors. Madstone here, and welcome back to Icarus. Season 1, Episode 2 of our open world adventure. Alrighty, so uh, the storm blew through. Uh, no uh, crazy uh, antics after I let you guys go off the episode. Uh, I went ahead and slept through the night, and I wanted to go ahead and continue where we were. Uh, looking at the, uh, now that we can cook some food and fire going here. Let's go ahead. I got the wood. Oh, let me get our UI back up. All right. So we have these meats here. And what I was looking at was like this meat here. When you cook it, you get just the basic. It's kind of like a health regeneration. And it actually gives you the big thing, 20 health when you consume it. So I usually cook those up. But let's check it out and see what it does for us if we do it as a dry meat. So we still get the 20 health, 100 food. We get 75. And this actually slows down food consumption. So I'm going to go ahead, throw those in there. Let them start dehydrating. They're drying out. Then also, I think what I'm going to do, we're going to take the gamey, stringy meat, put it in here, and we're going to put the game meat here for now. That's my goal. This will become prime, and the other stuff will become dry. And have it so we'll have three different stats so we could actually eat three separate meats get health bonuses and stuff uh, Especially if we run out of uh, vegetables and stuff All right So now we've got that out of the way. Let's go back. We've unlocked some new tools and weapons uh, I was kind of calling it the bone age <laughs> Anyway Yes, I'm an adult, okay so what we're going to do is we're basically going to take the knife, the javelin, and the spear here. We don't need them anymore. We're going to break those down. We destroy them, get some material back, recycle, basically. So get some of that back. Here we go. Everything else we'll keep. Yeah, let's repair that and repair that. And we're going to need another torch. So let's craft. Uh, let's see. Let's grab some fiber. We got somebody taking a swim over there. Oh, oh, we got. I have a wolf on the on the plant on the on the island. Let's go ahead and go to crafting. Let's get that torch going because I'll forget. In fact, let's just break that one and drag it right there. Okay. So the new stuff we got. We unlocked bone spear. Oh, that's right. This requires wood, which I don't think I had enough. Oh, you know what? Campfire. Well, you know what? Come on. We need to chop down trees anyway. Of course, I ran out here. I got no weapons. We'll probably be right around the corner. But we need we need the wood anyway. There we go. So again, first episode was awesome. We did really good. We broke my goal of level 5 and made it to level 6. Uh, we didn't die. No, we didn't die. And again, we made it We made it through. <laughs> Alright. So today our minimum goal is level 10, which we shouldn't have any problem. We're going to do similar to what we did last episode. We'll do some crafting now. Then we're going to go out and do a little more hunting, exploring. We might even go back to that spot we were go ahead and use this. I hate, I hate to leave you guys in the dark shadows there. So let's try this again. Crafting. Okay, here we go. We're going to make the bone spear. Now it's only five more damage, but it says some other stuff about... I saw somewhere when, you, when, you, when you're learning it, it says something about better range and so forth. So I don't know. Well, this is melee, so I don't know about that. Let's go ahead and craft that though, because that is my go-to melee for now. Then we're going to make the javelins. And they are more damaged. It goes from 99 to 110 to 200 to 225, so double. So we're going to make two stacks of those. Now you're going to see it uses a lot of bone, 40 each stack. Same thing with uh, the arrows and so forth. Now we haven't made a bow yet. We get the bow, that goes in slot four. Then we have the bone knife, slot five. Now here we're going to take the hammer out of slot eight. And we're going to start carrying around the uh, 
to the little bone sickle. That allows us to gather up the uh, fiber a lot faster. And there'll be times where we need to in bulk, and this will just give us a lot more return on our investment. Okay, also, now we are starting to get cluttered up here. You come out. Actually, I'm going to put him on seven. Water here. I want to go ahead and make sure we have some a couple of suture kits with us. If we get a deep wound, you need this. Otherwise, you'll get infected. Just, you don't want it. It's all bad. All bad, trust me. All right, so we got all new weapons. We got the bow. Now we're going to go back up here and see how many arrows we can make. Uh, I'm not quite that desperate. I mean, desperate. Let's go to 60 arrows. That should be enough for hunting. The good thing is, if we run out of these arrows, we can just grab some sticks and stones. Plus, if we're hunting, we'll be gathering more bone. But you can see, again, these are a good investment. I mean, it's five bone per arrow. Uh, the leather's not bad, because we do have a lot of leather, and it's one stick. But the main thing is, we need five. <laughs> five bone. I still haven't figured that out, because I just see bone on the end. But hey, it works. I'm going to put that in the front. And a lot of this is extra material. In fact, let's hit the uh, sort button. Let's go to inventory. That sometimes will clear things up a little bit. So I'm going to go here, put the hammer away. I'm saving all this stuff because we do have a use for it eventually. And let's see. Let's go back here. Let's get this stuff temporarily at least out of my inventory. I'm going to split that one. I like to keep materials with me. Split that. Uh, we're actually going to need to keep a little bone with us for repairing those tools, the new weapons we got. There shouldn't be any bone in here. Oh, we need a little bit of sticks. And a little bit. And this, later on, we won't need a lot of this stuff as much, but I find it's handy early game. I was, obviously, I don't really need to keep the sticks with me. Or the stone. I could pick them up anywhere, but I find convenience-wise... In fact, yeah, that I don't need. The stone I like to have. One more split. There we go. Sort it one more time. That's good. Oh, there we go. I think we're good. We got our arrows. I usually keep, I don't always keep these with me. I can make those anytime we want. Okay, go back in here. I'm trying to keep it minimal. Now we do need to look at our water is low and our water, uh, our sponge is empty, or almost empty. So let's go ahead and pick up the sponge. There we good, good to go. Let's check on the dry meat. Oh, it's taking its time. Let's move this one up in slots. Actually, we'll put the spoil down here in the corner. We did get some dry meat at least. Let's check over here. We should have some prime meat. Yep, that's all done. We are going to stop the fire. This takes a lot longer to process. So. Oh, it's still finishing off that last piece. So we're going to have to go without our stringy meat for now. We'll eventually get in the cycle where everything is ready. Okay, so we already went through the hunting grounds. I think we'll continue that, though, because we were really lucky yesterday. So let's go back up through the here. Maybe we'll continue up a little bit. We want to keep exploring and opening things. Now, level... Let me think about this. Yeah, we got to get to level 10, so I got a whole other plan. Let's go check out a mine nearby. Yep, small little mine. Let's go ahead and start, because we get points for that. We need to go collect some ore anyway. Is that a wolf? Okay. Turn off my torch. There we go. How much I got left? That's enough. Did I tell you I love my footbridge? Man, that's awesome. Whoever came up with that idea is a genius. Oop, I hear bees. There's a beehive right there. I'm going to continue to grab berries. Yeah, we're going to head over to this cave. We'll do some hunting on the way. Oop. I hear bees. 
Is that them right there? Am I close enough to piss them off? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how do I fight bees. All I got are pointy weapons. Okay, let's get this guy. Because again, our priority is at least to level 10, well 15 or you know, 10, is to keep on leveling. There we go. I do need to start getting some bow practice in also. Might be a little rusty. Let's go here. Let's get that picked up. Yeah, we're halfway through six now. Well, we're going to get some bow practice. That's right. We're going to a cave. <laughs> I'm not about to try to javelin what's in the cave. I'm going to have to learn about the bees, too. Is there more bees? I don't know. Let's keep going. I need to be a little patient. I don't have to run everywhere. Am I even going the right direction? I'm way off. And I'm resisting the urge to pick every fruit that I walk by. It's just going to go bad. Hang on, hang on. He's down. I think he's down the cliff here. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, I'm stuck. Hang on. No, you're making it too easy, my friend. Ow. Ooh, level two. Hang on, hang on. I want this guy. Ah, ah. Oh, that's our first rabbit kill. Okay. Where'd he go? We'll pick him up. Okay. Where's my wolf at? Oh, crap. Here he is. Knife. Carve. I think the rabbit will give us that soft meat that we're looking for. A lot easier to kill him with. The, I used to chase him around with a knife. I think the spear is going to be a lot better, smarter option. All right. Let's go ahead and eat some. We don't have no buffs on us. Let's just grab whatever we got there. Now, the rabbit, you're probably wondering, what happened to him? Well, I picked him up. If you look on my cop bar all the way to the right on the very last slot, there's a little picture of a bunny. We're going to go into third person. And you're going to see that I am carrying the bunny with me. Now, I don't really want to carry him with me because that could end up... I think I've had times, I remember in the past, where I couldn't figure out why I was being attacked all the time by wolves and it was because I was carrying a dead animal on me. But anyway, go back to first person. We're going to go ahead and throw him on the ground. I just wanted to get him out of the bush there. And let's carve him up. Hang on, we got a visitor coming. Let's go ahead and break this up real quick. Down, quiet. No! Sorry, buddy. Pick him up. All right. I just have a thing about getting him out where I can see. Yeah. Don't like being in the shadows where stuff can sneak up on me. Yeah, we may level before we even make it to the cave. Let's go back. Did we get... No, we didn't get any special meat. I think that that's, I think the special meats are random. And it may depend on the level of the... I didn't think about that. Probably the level of the animal. Because these were level 1 and 2 uh, wolves. And that rabbit wasn't very high level either. Oh, how's our oxygen? Okay. Since we're mining, let's go ahead. That one's pretty embedded. I'm hoping I'll, I'll break it before I smash all the rocks up. Oh, well. well, it's way in there. Look at that. I don't think we broke it, though. Didn't know there's some more... 
There we go. Heard somebody with a heavy footstep, but it could have been a deer. Could have been a deer. Now, we're going to go mine this cave. Hopefully, nothing happens bad. Oh, let me fix that. While we're... But because I'm using this pickaxe, you'll see that it says plus 50 mining radius, 100% yield. I'm going to limit myself to what I grab. Uh, I know I need 100 ore, roughly, uh, iron ore, and then I'll usually grab a little bit of uh, copper, too, to get started. But I want to wait till we make the iron tools because we're going to go to a to a higher, I think it's 125% yield. So that way we're getting more materials. Plus by then we'll probably have even unlocked, uh, you know, you got to pay attention to these little things, but under the uh, talent solo, I'm hope, well, I know we're a ways off from there, but eventually we're going to unlock this here to get five to 10% more yield from mining. So, but I still got to, yeah, because we only get one every other level. So that would be one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So yeah, thirteen, fourteen, so level sixteen or plus. Okay, so no hurry. But that's what we want to do. And you can even do that. I'm just trying to throw out some, share some knowledge as we go. There's even an option once we get down here. Uh, let's see, where does it start? I think it starts here. Yep. Yeah. So here we can get up to 20% yield from... Now, this is specifically iron. The one in the solo tree just says mining in general. So I'll, a lot of times, I don't even worry about this stuff unless I want... To. The only reason I'd go any further in that tree is if I wanted to get the one-hit lucky strike. That gives you a 1% chance to instantly break a whole node. And it, it, it actually crits more than you think. Um, if you're the main gatherer in a multiplayer group, that's a go-to. You got to have that, and you want to have the uh, season logsman. I'm getting this. That's why I'm going 30, uh, 13 points. Uh, I want the carry weight, and I want the convenience of picking up logs faster because I like to build, and I'll be collecting a lot of lumber. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to break our way in. No problem. Let's go ahead. Now we're gonna end up with a lot of stone that we don't need to carry right now. I'll show you what I do there. Because you don't want to waste. I like I don't like just throwing stuff away. And if you throw the stone on the ground, it will vanish. But we're gonna be maximizing the ore. Let's get that torch going. You want to make sure you have a nice, clear opening. You don't want to get hung up when you're running for your life out of the cave and get caught. <laughs> I hear a wolf, but he's up. There. He's way up there. I'd have to run all the way around. Okay, so let's look and see. No, he may be... No, he's definitely up there. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. This... Oh, uh... Turn off the torch for a second. <laughs> okay, there's like two or three up there. Come on. I don't think I can... Yeah, I don't see a way up there. Uh... Yeah, we can't ignore if there's two of them. Because that could level us up. First and foremost, leveling is our goal. We got another one. Oh, still got him. I hesitated. Let's go ahead and get him real quick. Get that picked up. Yeah, that might be three. Yeah, we get one more. Oh, we might get it here. Nope, okay. So we got like, we get a good, good amount of points there on the skin. Well, you just stay over there. He's not on my scent, is he? 
Oh, another one. You just stay over there. I definitely heard a wolf up here. Well, we saw him. I just couldn't get a good angle. But he may have wandered off. I hear him. Hang on. Where were we? I do hear him. There he is. Beautiful. Now I hear another one. Now this is another little hunting ground. I like to call them hunting grounds. Another clearing. This is actually a cool place to build too. If you're not worried about being right on the water. I think sometimes those animations don't, they don't land right where I was, thought I was gonna hit. Let's get you over here. This may turn out like our other spot, so let's make sure we're ready. We'll give it a minute. This is usually a pretty heavy area for wolves. There's another big uh, cave, a really big cave here in the corner. It's one of the larger, I think it's like what they call the one star. It's just loaded down. Here he comes. Now this one's actually, now this one's actually coming for the kills. Yep. Get away from my food. Well, that's good. We may get to 10 faster than I thought. Well, I always say that. Then it dries up. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and carve these guys. I want to get in that cave. Because we're going to get points doing that work, too. Oh, they're bone knight. Look at that. Always pay attention. That's a small one of the goats or chamois. Pronghorn. I'm hoping the lore book, our little journal... Is going to help me pronounce their names better at some point. Because I saw some stuff. I haven't really dug into it. I heard something. I'll show you here in a second. We should be on... Or we should, if anything, we should unlock deer. I mean, uh, the wolf. <laughs> now, I don't know. The, I haven't looked into the numbers. I'm sure someone's charted it all out to like how many of everything you got to kill okay let's get our spear ready just in case okay, let's go to the journal so i saw these yeah so here you can plays a little you know sound effect these other ones okay what does this do oh it switches between the progress yeah so i mean we're only four percent and i don't even know how many people we or how many we've killed Ooh, a little pronghorn. Or sh chamois. Have we killed one yet? Go. Nope. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get that guy out of here. That might be the deer coming back. Sometimes when you scare them, they'll come. Yeah, they'll come back. All right, let's go back down. I forgot to put our good thing that didn't run out yet. Oh, the stone. Yeah, I was going to show you that. Okay, let's see if we can get down here. Usually, getting down is easier than getting up. Uh, there was probably a. Uh, that's what she said. Joke in there somewhere. Okay, let's get back over here. Let me show you my what to do so you don't waste good materials, especially open world. Oh, wrong weapon. Yeah, let's watch Mad run halfway. I got him. Okay. 
Oh, it was right here anyway. Okay, so similar to the logs you saw late earlier, we stacked the logs. You probably might have noticed similar thing for stone. Every hundred stone, we can craft this pile. This used to be a big deal. These cave openings used to take a lot to open, and you could get a, like piles and piles of materials out of them. So I always stack them up. If I can't carry them or I don't want to waste the time. Oh, let's get our water. Hang on. Because you can keep breaking this thing down. So, like, if let's look at our inventory. We got 26 stone. That's okay. I'm, I can live with that. That means we can carry. We still got some carry space here. We actually got a lot on us. But our goal is 100 iron and maybe 30 plus copper. But iron is our big thing. Let's go ahead and get to work on that. Got my bow. Let's, oh, I didn't need to do that. Okay, let's crouch. That's supposed to give us a little extra damage. I'm looking for no. There could be one, one to three of them in here. I think in a small cave. I don't know if it's the same all the time or random. Alright, we just unlocked the cave worm. So that is definitely an alien creature. Oh, look at this. One, two, three, four, five. That's six. Got a lot of coal in here. Yep, so there's another coal. Wow, a lot of coal. Which worries me because, well, I still got this. This is this one of the smaller caves that is loaded to the brim. So it's one of my favorite ones to hit when I'm in this area. Like back when we used to do the missions and you drop, you, that's where you drop down from scratch. I'd always run over here and set up because I knew I could get everything I needed. Okay, so we're going to grab our pickaxe. Let's start in the back corner. I'm going to try to stay out of the water. We don't want to be here too long. We run risk of getting cave lung. And I don't have the medicine for that yet. The antibiotic paste. would like to there we go make sure we break the whole thing that's titanium we can't touch that there's some copper let's get this one. all right we're good on that one that's aluminum oh yeah you can see it from here okay and that is titanium yep now that actually is copper. I'm sorry. Oh, there's two of, uh, sorry, two iron back here. I think we get about 30 odd. I think. How many have we done? Maybe we're getting less than that because of this tool. Come on, come on. We didn't pop it. I know there's going to be a sliver and it's going to drop me nuts. That's okay. It might just be too deeply embedded in there. Okay. Now we may not be getting as much as... I'm probably used to the numbers I get. Hang on. There's a sliver right there. Oh, come on. Oh, that's cold. Oh, 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 I saw it right there. See? Yeah, you'll get that sometimes. There'll be still some parts in there, and that, that could be the difference. Oh, here it is right here. You know, it's every one of those a little more ore. Oh, no, that's the coal. All right, good enough. Where's our number at? We are at 55 and 20. So we need another 45. So, yeah, we're getting not much because of the uh, the tool we're using. And it's about, to, it's about to break. I think when I land on those little sacks, they make that noise. <laughs> okay, let's concentrate. All right. Yeah, that thing right there. But it's not, it's not damaging me as far as I can tell. No. I wouldn't even mind some coal, but that stuff is heavy. 
It burns longer, though. I mean, honestly, this much coal has lasts us quite a while. Where are we at? Okay, looks like one more. Oh, one off. Okay, we're gonna do one more. I know I'm gambling with the getting sick in here. Still see some slivers. Probably why I'm not getting as much as I'm used to, because we're not getting that last bit. Okay, let's look at the numbers. We're 100 plus, yeah, 117. I'm happy with that. All right, we still got carry weight. See if we can carry one coal. That stuff's a lot heavier than the other stuff. But it burns so much more efficiently. Okay, we got 28. That'll last us a little while. Good to know those. Is, man, there's so much coal in here. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, plus the one I got there, six. Oh, and I forgot to look up. There's another iron. Yeah. Another iron there. Some copper, there's even some gold. We don't really have any use for that. Okay. And I don't know, what's our carry weight left at? 106, 25, how much is a stack of this? Six, okay, let's get some more, might as well. Maybe we'll level, hang on. Look at that. Like it was meant to be. Oh, let's get out of there. I'm about to stop for a second. Let's get out of here so we don't get sick. All our buffs ran off. Okay. Did I eat that? Yeah, I did. Okay. And our water's okay. Oxygen is dismal. Okay. Let's head back to base. So we are now level. What are we? Level eight. So two more levels. And we're about under halfway well halfway technically through the episode again one hour is the i'll say try to commit to it one hour is the minimum <laughs> how about that guys i want to get some uh yeah you can turn off that camera if it bugs you it's it's in the settings Let's go to five. Here we go. I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. Kind of fun. It lets you know right away. You're like, oh, I got a headshot. Or I got a kill. Kill shot. Yeah. It's a default setting, so I, I leave everything pretty much default. The only thing I turn, I did turn off highlighting. Normally, when you're walking around, all these things will highlight with a glow around them. I turned that off because it drove me nuts. <laughs> Yeah, I want to get the level 10. Oh, I forgot we hit that rabbit on. <laughs> uh, I want to get the level 10 so that we can start being more efficient with the oxygen, too. The oxide. That should be enough. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's, that's the one thing that does bother me and it's the same with the wolves probably most of the animal well, the bears don't seem to do it that much but when he does his animation you're hit doesn't matter once he rears up it seems like then you're you're hit even if you jump back um i don't know if that's something they can work on that just kind of drives me nuts that i'm like oh i dodged him nope never mind <laughs> he got me 
Uh, let's fix that. I don't want to break it. In fact, let's just fix up a few things here before I forget. Okay. That's a couple of deer over there. Okay. Yeah, we're only what, two levels away now. Okay. Well, let's get back to the base. It's uh, almost 1800 anyway. Let me drop my marker back down. Now you may be, yeah, you only get one marker, but I will tell you, eventually you can build beacons. Yeah, oh, there ain't no way. Well, let's not worry. Yeah, why am I? Yeah, let's leave everybody alone unless they're a wolf for now. Now, I wonder if I should cons... Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Unless they're a wolf. You are automatic. Gotta kill it. Gotta kill it. Can't leave him alone. Ooh, little chamois. What would happen? Are we full? No, oh, we're full. Uh, pop, 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 pop. So this is the rare occasion. I'll throw that away. Because that sets seven pieces of meat that we need. Oh, it's time to go. All right. All right, now we'll officially even ignore the wolves. Oh, what I was thinking here, I didn't know if I said it. I wonder eventually, did I do a footbridge here too? I'll eventually build a real bridge. We're going to end up clearing. Yeah, again, I'm envisioning clear the whole island off. That may happen over the next two or three episodes, depending on how it goes. Uh, might start. Yeah, why don't we start a little bit there on that now? Because we want to get that full. But yeah, I'll eventually probably build a main bridge. This looks like a good spot. Yeah, we'll do that one there and we'll leave the other bridge here. I don't want to leave this beach area clear. Because that's going to be my little fishing spot over here on the other side. So, rabbit. Okay. As long as you get started right, then you usually don't fall off. Okay. So what have we decided before? We're cooking the ribs, which I didn't get any. Oh, okay. And the stringy meat. So actually, I got to make a decision here. How much meat? We got five ribs left. And we got. Four of the stringy, dried stringy meat. I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's just keep going with that for now. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm surprised I didn't get any more. Maybe I didn't kill the right animals. I think the ribs, the rib looking meat comes off the uh, little goats and stuff. And I do know I got a rabbit. Let's throw him on the ground. <laughs> And let's get the knife. Clean him up. There we go. There we go. Let's get inside. Let's evaluate our situation. We now have ore. I don't want to go too crazy with uh, they don't cost much. I say I don't want to build a whole bunch of boxes. They don't cost much, so and we can destroy them. Get 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 some parts back. Okay, we're gonna put our ore in here. Hold that ready for level ten. Put it here, drop that. Seeds. Oh, I got more raw meat. I'll just throw that in there. Let it go bad. Okay, let's start back over here. We got some wood stacked up. Some more stone. I do need a little bit of stone. I'm gonna split that one more time. Now you gotta have room for it. Okay. Oh, shift, split. Put you back over there. There we go. Need that for sharpening our tools. Otherwise, I think we're good. I'm gonna go back here. We're gonna go ahead and dump this stuff out of here because I'm good. We still got 59 arrows. Yeah. 
Oh, we have no more room for that. Oh, this comes out of there. Sort. Okay, we're loaded down on uh, leather. I'll put that in here. It's related. You'll see later. Maybe I'll keep a little bit of... Split that one. There we go. Oh. How about that? Resort that. All right. Well, it's nighttime. Uh, we, we did level. Let's go through. Still holding off. I do, well, I do want, I do want, I do want some clothing. we got to be stylish. And this is one of my favorite early game outfits. Now, this is new. Let me see. I don't know if I want to go. That seems like that would scare all the creatures. Now, my main reason. Ooh, look at that. Tw plus 15 melee damage. That's your armor bonus and 20 melee resistance. I want this one, though, because it's related to movement speed, so. And eventually we'll unlock everything, and we're going to make the seed bag. I almost forgot about this. Someone mentioned to it in the in the chat. Uh, I'm sorry, in the comments. Yeah, I do want that. And I'll hold the other three for now. I mean, we've still got two more levels. I want to have a little stockpile. I mean, I'm tempted to grab these, but we really don't need to be building anything right now. And nothing else has become that I know of on here is pertinent that I really have to have it. So let's go back to talents. We're going to finish off our tree, I hope. Let's see here. Well, it's one, two, th I got to do the math to make sure I'm at 13. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I know I'm not. Okay, never mind. I have to fill that in. And usually I got to put one more point here or here, which I don't really worry about the carry weight of the wood exclusively. So I normally go here. So we got our plus 40. So now we can carry 140 kilos right here. Let's go back to talents. But any otherwise, yeah, I think I'm just going to go 15% for here right now. And now we've got... This, the main chevrons unlocked, which means next level we could pick up seasoned logsmen. Okay, and let's check solo. I don't, yeah, we got a point there. We're ready to finish off our recovery. So now we're getting plus 20 stamina gen on top of what we already have. And we're good. Let's take a nap. Fire still burning. Seven in the morning. Bags are empty. We are going to spend a little time at least. I'm going to do a little bit of deforesting. I'll leave my torch on for a little while. Try to make sure stuff falls this way. This will go a lot faster when we hit level 10, of course. So maybe I should not. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's do, do a little bit. I just thought of that. We'll get an iron axe and we'll be cutting through this stuff. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Let me just clean this one up real quick. We'll just continue hunting and investigating everything. That makes a little lot more sense. There we go. Okay, yeah, I don't, that makes more sense. Oh, 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 that's a large deer. Oh, man, that was a lucky ass shot. I tried to, sp yeah, anyway, I tried to match it. Uh, I never hit one on the move. In fact, you can see how close that was. Damn, I did get him in the neck or head. Cool, I'm excited. Look at that, that was fun. <laughs> oh, we need water and we got to fill up our... Uh, yeah, we gotta get our water and fill up our sponge. Yeah, let's keep hunting. I'm having fun anyway. Let's drink some water. And go into eight. Fill that back up. Let's check our food sources. Yeah, because we didn't have this earlier. Uh, throw that in there. Oh, I really need to put this at the front. It's gonna spoil again on us. Put these at the bottom. 
And you're low priority. Okay, there we go. Well, we got four at least. Let's swap that out. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Oh, nothing in here. Okay. All right, we're good. Uh, we still got a prime, and we got that, so we're good. I could even eat that one. Now, our, look at our health bars. Good. All right. All right, where do we go this time? We've done a little investigating here. Well, let's go back up in here, and we'll go over and find the big cave, take a poke around there. And, uh, yeah, let's go back that way. There's. We may run into some more wolves over there. I'm just going to kind of... What is that? Oh, probably a deer trying to get across. Let me get my javelins out. Have we lost? We haven't lost any javelins yet. Still got ten. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh, torch, torch. I know light's probably not an actual factor. I know noise is. I couldn't see him. That was a totally blind lucky shot. Totally lucky shot. In fact, I don't even know where he is. I mean, he was in the thick of it. There he is. All right. I hope that's not a horse. Okay. Okay, let's go. Ooh, hang on. It's a shamwall right there. Hey, he's got us leave him alone. He's going the opposite direction. Hang on. I want some of these other deer and animals to get different meat. I think that wolf was over here somewhere. I don't think we have. Think, do we have animal traps? I don't think we. I don't, well, we might. I don't know. I was just thinking, you know, I could set them out to catch some rabbits. keep progressing the way we are. It seems to be working for us pretty good so far. Again, I've probably said it if I haven't. I'm not a speed leveler. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not enjoying the game. I want to be casual with it. But I also know I got to, you know, I'm sharing this with the public, so I got to keep it entertaining to a level. Okay, we're going to go up and around. But I guess the, and I got some good feedback from the community, which I really appreciate. It's, you know, I play the game the way it is. You know, I don't speed edit through and hide anything. I just kind of play as is. And sometimes that means just making it fun for me to play, which is why I'm doing this open world concept, eventually going into missions after I've leveled up high enough and I feel like I'll be safer. Because no one wants to watch me sit there and struggle as I've had in the past. Struggle on a... in a game. <laughs> no fun in that. No, it's fun if it's, you know, part of what's going on, but yeah. Sometimes I set the settings in the game, and it's happened with no one survived and so forth. Where I just set it to where it's just brutal. I'm punishing myself, basically. Normally, I'll go hardcore. Like in this game, I set it originally for hard because I remembered, well, when I played it, it was, you know, I had no problems. But I also forgot that I played uh, a lot of that was done co op. And also, a lot of stuff was different back then. We didn't have as many creatures, I didn't have all the horses and stuff. I had wolves and deer. Shamwas, but a lot's been added. Anyway, I don't want to keep poking at that stuff. We're having fun. That's all that matters to me in the end. Oh, we got to fix that knife before it breaks. Okay, let's get you carved up, my friend. So this is looking good. 
That's a horse. Yep. I'm getting a little better. But I know where you're going. I know exactly where you're going. They're no longer, uh, they're, I want to say they're almost kill on sight. Only if they're, if I think they're going to, if they're, uh, on to me. Okay, let's start making our way. Uh oh. Okay, just rain. Okay. I'm worried about a lightning storm hitting when I'm so far from home. Now, in the back of my mind, I seem to remember I somehow told myself that maybe I learned it from somebody, but if you're far away from your base, the lightning only strikes near where you are. So you're better off being away from your base especially early game like this. Less likely to get torn down or burned down. I know the wind damage because I've come back to a base and had the walls missing or torn down from the wind, but I think the lightning's a little more concentrated on where you are. Now let's head over to the cave, back in the corner kind of, and just follow this wall to an end. Got to keep an eye on this. We got a lot of uh, oxide. We're gonna need that sulfur later too. I thought I heard a sniffle, but it might have been the wind. Did I level or something? Uh, oh, I forgot. Hang on. There's a pronghorn here. I see his head. I unlocked that outfit and I forgot to make one. <laughs> I don't trust this. Let's grab him. I don't like being exposed. Let's move over here. Yeah, because you can't hear very well during the storms. And uh, let me know on the audio. I played with it. I spent actually about an hour or so sliding all these. There's like four or five different sliders in the game. I, was trying, I, I want the environment there, but I didn't want it to the point where it was burying myself, you know, making it completely in. Yeah, where y'all couldn't understand anything. So, because I had a comment from somebody, you know, which I, I, I appreciate too. They let me know that. The ambient sound and everything was so loud that it was kind of drowning me out. Because everybody uses different speakers, headphones, so I got to try to balance it for everybody. Okay, let's go to five. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. There we go. We're not even in the hard part. The red. The red of the storm is about to hit in a second here. Um, okay, we're sheltered. Why am I taking? I'm sheltered. Okay. Oh, no shelter. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and get my bow out. This cave's big enough, you can move in there. <laughs> You'll still get sick, but you could set up shop in the front of here. I've done that many a times. Go ahead and put a furnace down, campfire. There we go. Oh, there's two of them, back to back. Now, I did learn something. There may be, say, six to eight or more worms in here. If I go back to the front and come up, they seem to move forward to the uh, spawn location sometimes. We'll see. I'm going to kind of walk up here. It's pretty nasty out there. I can still get sick, though. I don't know if I should put a fire down or not. 
I may be wrong on that whole thing. I may have just made it up. But somewhere I think I read that from one of the guys on the Discord. The guys, the veterans that the reason, like, if you leave and come back is that they're moving up. They're not respawning, but they're moving up to the front of the cave. I'm not going to loot that stuff. The material that's dropped on here, as far as I know to date, you have to do a specific, specific um, quest or a mission to unlock using this stuff. If not, it's easy to get a hold of because these guys are in all the caves. So I don't really collect it. It weighs a lot. Some of it's real heavy. I'm just waiting for the storm to pass. Oh, we got him. We got him. No, I yeah, I don't want to get in that water. Okay. Oop. Little step there. Let me check some stuff here. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough rock. That's why I meant to keep enough rock for a uh, campfire. Well, this storm should be letting up. Our torch is almost burned out. Go ahead and bust that one up. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Well, let's go ahead and do a little bit of maintenance. How's our water? Let's take a sip of water. Oh, our buffs are out. Plus, I hear the call. Got some wolves out here somewhere. Ooh, how's the oxygen? Oh. Go down here real quick. Yeah, I can't wait to level 10. So much stuff's gonna get a little bit, a lot, well, like, you know, a lot easier for us. Look at that. Now I have started sketching out a base camp and I, I'm planning on building pretty big. There he is. I'm planning on building a pretty big base cause it's going to be a, probably our tier one to four base. Okay, now this might've been a mistake. I wasn't paying attention. No, it's a rock. It's a rock. I'm staring at it like, is that a deer? I mean, yeah, I might have missed up. I wasn't paying attention where he fell. There he is. Let's get him over here. Um, so as I was saying, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at building a pretty big because I want it to be plenty. There's a lot of stuff to do in this. There's a lot of crafting. So I want to be prepared. So I've got an initial sketch I've done. I, did, I even went into an outpost and built parts of it just to make sure, like, the roof lines and stuff. Because there's a lot of options in this game. And there's the whole debate about, or not debate, but the whole thing. Do I want an even number width or odd number width? Do I want stuff centered? You know, where do I want my center points to be? Yeah. But you guys know that if you're builders, game builders, it's always, a, you know, <laughs> what are my choices? In this game, there's a lot of choices. Okay, let's go ahead and go back in here. We're gonna head back towards the middle. Oh, we got to, I've got the oxygen. Water's good, food's good. Yeah, let's go back towards the middle where the fun is. We're down to one level, aren't we? Yep. Oh, oh, there's some deer. Is that a big deer? I didn't see a baby behind it. It's 
So I think there's male deer, then there's large male deer. Let's see something, because he's not showing up as large. No, he's just a regular deer. And I don't know anything about deer. I just thought if they had a big antlers like that, they were male. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> I have to ask uh, one of my friends at work that hunt. Say, hey, I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm spilling out the knowledge properly. I don't know if I should chase him down. Uh, what is that? A rabbit? Yeah. Yeah. Let's try the chamois. I heard a wolf howl, but then I thought I heard him breathing real close by. I'm trying to see where that wolf might have been if he was out in the opening or something. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Get that in your hand, get that in your hand. No, that's a fe I think that's the female deer right there. I usually leave them alone. Somebody's got to take care of the baby deer. Now, that's another thing. It might be my imagination, but or it might have changed. But early days, I could swear that if you killed a baby deer, it would imprint on either you or any other animal it ran into, and then it would start following it. Because I started seeing them like walking around with the little goat guy and just follow them around. I think that's actually a real thing. Sometimes it's those little things that some of the developers put in the game. You may or may not notice. Oop, 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 come on. Yeah, I hear a wolf. I wouldn't mind another small pack of wolves. Those are fun. He's a level 28. Okay, let's go grab him real quick. We'll bring him out here. Hmm. Well, let's clean this one up. I don't want to leave him here. He might get chewed up. We are we are leveled, so yeah, got another talent point. I'll wait. No hurry. Oh crap! There he is. Now he might be coming over here. He's not moving fast. Usually, if they're hunting, they'll get that little crawl going. You'll see they'll move like a little bit faster than normal. You can tell they're on the on the prowl. Really excited to get to 10. Start getting iron tools, iron weapons. Crafting really just just blossoms. I mean, I love the whole thing. I love playing. I don't know a lot of people will get bored with this part, maybe, but I love the whole primitive tool. How far can I push it? Let's look at where are we at. We halfway, almost halfway. Okay. Twelve. Yeah, it's only twelve forty, game time. So we should be good. Yeah, we should hit ten. Well, we will. I'm not gonna leave till we hit ten. I hear bees. Let's go back into the clearings. We haven't been down here yet. Part of the reason of coming out here was to expand the map out. Speaking of that, yeah, I even oh I oh I was way off <laughs> on my map, my marker. 
Oh, you know why? Hang on. Yeah, let's just zoom in a little bit, buddy. There you go. Yeah, we need about five or six more, I think, wolf kills. Nope, something ran out. Well, let's go ahead and eat one of these. Grab some, all this free oxide, look at that. Free rain. That's a horse. Level 24. You have a baby with you? I think he does, I hear it behind him. You know what, buddy? I got a level. <laughs> oh, he was right behind him. Oh, well. Maybe that'll make the planet mad and I'll get ambushed here in a second. I don't hear anything. Okay. No wolves. I keep forgetting to look and see how many points I'm getting for killing this guy. Well, 787 for the skin, that's about in line with a wolf. I mean, if these guys are like 1,500 or 1,800, here comes a wolf. Now that might be a predator. Is that him right there? Yeah. He's just hanging out. Yeah. He not prowling. Yeah, I like it when they're on the on the move. It looks pretty cool. Well, we'll keep going this direction, kind of east. Sounds like there's some more wolves over there. This looks like a prog one right there. Oh! Got him in the butt. <laughs> I don't know so much where I'm hitting him as just the, the sheer amount of damage that comes out of that thing takes him down. Even if it's not a headshot. Because it's, I mean, it's 200 damage. like these hill, the uh, little cliff areas. Oh, am I turned around? No, we're okay, we're over here. Let's keep going. Let's follow the, the howl. Oh, water, water, hang on. That's number eight. actually reminding me of it was the watermelons. Oh yeah, let's also do this. I know that's going to be getting low. I'm trying to remember, look around, pick up any free. Yeah, right there. I hear walking. Our wolf hasn't made any noise in a little while. I think he's this way, though. He might be stuck in the rocks here. Uh-oh. That's a level one right there. Man, I, was, I almost let loose. I, that would have been funny. That would have been funny. If I had hit him, <laughs> the shamwam ran through there. Boom! Tagged. Or maybe I get two for one. Let's get over here. Oop, stuck on the rock. There you go, buddy. 
Oh, that knife's about to break. Ah, I forgot. Okay. No, oh, wow, it didn't break. How's everybody else look? Okay. Yeah, I think two more, maybe? Wolves, that is. Two more wolves. Let's go ahead and mark our return path. Might kind of circle around this. It's amazing how big this map is. Only 64 kilometers square. Now I had a somebody put out a comment uh, asking me about Fallen Earth. Uh, and I played that game back in beta and played it for a while. Uh, but I was, so of course I went back to look, cause it's actually in my Steam store. I think they actually, I got it because I was an original, you know, anyway, it's in my store, but I haven't gone and checked it out since they uh, changed hands a couple times, or at least one time. But, uh, you know, since that whole thing going back, cause that was from 2009, I was, think I was playing it as early as 2008. But anyway, the funny thing was, I looked at that, because that game was kind of ahead of its time in a lot of ways, and it had a thousand kilometer map. I remember that map was so big. And they had a really cool faction system, which they actually abandoned after beta. Too many people complained about it. But it was a, there were six factions, and it was a faction wheel. So what happened was, if you were in faction, you know, so say there's six of them in the wheel, if you were in faction number, if your faction one was your faction, then you were friendly with two and six, but then straight across from you, which might have been, I don't know, four, you were enemies, and then you were also enemies with the two of, on next to, you know, it was just all these really, I thought it was pretty cool because it kept people because they all had their own gear and stuff that you could get if you were friendly with them. And the whole idea was you couldn't just pick and choose you had to you were tied down you know, and I, I totally random thought as we were running around here but yeah, I just thought it was cool because if you were on faction one and you wanted to go to faction four that was a lot of grinding because you were basically a pure enemy with them okay I kind of know where I am I don't know if we're going to find much over here take a look here yeah we have to go this way a little bit go back to that other hunting ground almost 1500 hours we got two two and a half game hours of light left let's see if they've uh, come back to the hunting ground I hear somebody Somebody over there. Uh, that's a mama deer. Okay, we'll leave her alone for now. Cause I'm pretty sure I heard a little baby deer squeaking back there. Oh, 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 oh. Is that a deer or a prong? That's a deer. Well, there's a lot of deer over here. Yep, there's the mama and the baby. Oop, taking a nap. Taking a break. There we go. Now, this is where we ran into that pack before. Right in the mouth. There we go. Mom left. How we doing? How we doing? We're getting close, getting close. Oh, I forgot to. Oh, we're full. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. Push too many buttons, slow down, man. Okay, well, that's easy. You go here. All right. So that baby pretty much tells us it's time to go home. Start heading back. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 
That's a little deer. It's like the little fish. We'll throw that one back. Can I pick those up? Where are they going? I wonder if they are 26. I wonder if it actually knows. It does. Okay. So. Did I just hear a wolf? We're literally a wolf kill away. From 10. And this would be a great way to end the episode. That scared him a little. Even a large deer might do it for us. Nice and peaceful out here. I could take a nap. Who do we got coming? You might be a little too small, chamois, but we'll see if you're enough points. Ooh, it's in the snoot. That hurts. I don't want to scare anybody off, so we'll just stay in stealth for a minute. Oh, that might do it right here. Nope. Only 178 points. Oh, we're full. Uh, what else can I live without? I can live without the fiber for now. Fiber and sticks would be my choice because we can get more. Yeah. Well, let's head back because literally the next thing we easy target we find we'll take down. Nope, all the buffs just ran out. Hang on. Or two of them did. Let's get that. Get that. Yeah, if you're new to the game. Yeah, when we hit level next episode, it's going to be crazy. You'll, you're going to, well, I'll say that. Just so much starts getting unlocked. So many different systems. We get to play around with the salt and cooking benches. Build a permanent base. Yeah, I watched, uh, I always like to keep up randomly go through the YouTube and look for people and there was somebody playing. He's just started playing uh, Icarus. And it used to be more of a problem, but because uh, the... Uh, hang on, let's go in here real quick. In the check tree for Tier 1, it used to be everybody would get thatch because it was available earlier than wood. And they were desperate to get a building, especially if they were doing that first mission where it tells you to build a shack. And so but sometimes that's why I always tell people in a new game, read through this stuff. But I saw him and he went and instead of grabbing the wood, oh, I'll grab that. And he built a thatch house and <laughs> a windstorm came through and he, he was just he's like, what happened? And his house just blew down, but it was just falling apart left and right. But he figured it out. Oh, man, I should Let's get closer to home. Maybe there'll be somebody waiting for us at home. You know what I want to do? I want to kill a fish. We want to level on a fish kill. Come on. Oh, I don't have any... Uh... Yeah, let's go ahead. Get some water. Let's go ahead and clean out our inventory because let's say I can't pick anything up anyway. Okay. Uh, I don't even know if I can put anything away. Let's try. I don't really have much sticks with us, do we? Okay, resort that out. Let's put the stone in there. That'll take a chunk of that. That we don't have any room. Oh, maybe the fur can go. Oh, we have 200 fur. Wow. Now that used to be a thing, and you'll see it's it's been added since I played, but I, I did do a little bit of looking up on stuff. But that used to be a thing where usually after the first make your other than making your uh, a few items in the game, fur became just that was the thing you just didn't want to see because you'd have cabinets full of it. And they finally put it into some other recipes and made some other uses for it. It's pretty cool. Okay, well, actually, we can go. We got more game meat. Oh, I hear. Oh, oh. Wolf, 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 wolf. 
Where's he at? Okay, let's go. Let's go. He's over there somewhere. Turn off that torch. He's over there somewhere. Oh, there he is. Hello, I see your face. Thank you, sir. There we go. You know, if I had a... There we go. Lock, unlock the crafting bench. Yeah, if I had the, the proper knife, I'd skin him and get his head and would use him as a trophy. That was our level 10 trophy. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. I'm not going to spend a point just on that. Uh, let's see here. Plus, he'd probably be gone by the time I got all that leveled up. Okay. Drop him on the ground. But we will celebrate with a skinning. Now, see, I can't see that, that modifier. I don't know what it means. Yeah, I keep seeing it, but I can't really... It doesn't tell me what it is. Look like a picture of a wolf's head or something. I think it's supposed to tell us what's going on, that this is a... Uh, you know, the body of the carcass is going to attract, attract wolves or attract prey. But anyway, good timing. Let's go by the campfire. We did really good, guys. I'm really happy with the progress. Uh, we did get to level 10, which was our goal. And we have, again, we haven't died. We've actually got a good setup going here. This should carry us through. We only got five more levels to where we can start building. Next episode, we're going to be jumping into the iron. We already got the materials. I'll expand this base out. I'm going to add another one by two section on the front so we can go ahead. We'll get our crafting bench going and some other stuff, but I'll wait till next episode. We'll go in and spend our points and get set up for all that. So it's that time again, guys. If you're enjoying the series, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, tips, or tricks, please drop those down below. And until next time, Adstone out.